Hey guys, it's Wayne. Um, this is post number three. Uh, pretty much the same as the other two. Uh, figuring, you know, uh, up all last night, my back hurt so bad, it's just tossing and turning. Um, the pain meds, put that back on so we don't scare you guys. The glare could be deafening and blinding. So, um, <laughs> excuse me. But, um, yeah, it's a rough night. Uh, pain pills aren't working too much these weeks these days, whatever. So, excuse me, I am so sorry. I'll try to get a nap today after the missus goes to work and the kids can play. So, but, uh, let's see. It's June 5th, 2011. Uh, right now it's about 1.03. Uh, so, it's lunchtime, but we're passing today because my stomach is so upset. Uh, it's been like this for the past two weeks. Uh, doctor put me on some antibiotics, a couple different kinds of antibiotics, and uh, a protein pump inhibitor, which I guess is like an anti-ulcer medicine. But uh, between the three pills, I'm taking five at a time, plus my heart, plus my water, uh, plus the Claritin, plus the the ranadine for the upset stomach, plus the colase for the the um, regularity to keep me from being constipated because most of the medications make you constipated. So, but, sorry, we have to bring that up. It's we all know um, it's going to be something that we're facing. So, um, but yeah, I take um, four, eight. 14, almost 15 pills a day, I think, 15 or 16 pills a day, and it sucks. That's why I'm ready for the surgery now. I um, was actually going through the YouTube here uh, a couple of days ago and found something really, you know, cool to me. Uh, when I was growing up, I'm sure there's some other people out there that remember uh, Buck Rogers in the 25th century, Gil Gerard, Aaron Gray. Uh, Tom Christopher, they uh, they were all pretty much my day. I'd come home from school, do my homework, and right into the TV to watch Buck Rogers a couple episodes. Uh, weekends were great because we got two or three episodes. So, but um, needless to say, I found out that uh, Gil Gerard, who played Buck Rogers, um, actually went through this surgery. He had uh, a mini gastric bypass, whatever a mini is. I've heard of the, the sleeve, I've heard of the lap band, and I've heard of the Royston Y, which is what I'm having. So um, I guess the mini is not uh, as evasive, or it doesn't take as much of the stomach. So it sounds like sleep to me, but I mean, he's doing great. He's lost tons of weight, uh, looks good, a little gray like me, but hey, we can't stop that. No magic surgery. Um, but yeah, so I've been inspired by, you know, childhood hero. If he can do it, that I can do it. So um, getting a few hits off of this, video, the, the videos. Uh, people are just starting. I know I just put them out two, three days ago and started. So it's going to take a while for people to start getting up on it. It's probably not one of those videos that will go viral. But, um, you know, hopefully there's a few people that will take in. Uh, kick in and uh, please by all means comment give me your support uh, give me your tips your thoughts uh, whatever uh, you know, post it down there and uh, I check this every day to see you know who's come in see if anybody's looked at it so I'm looking for all the support I can get uh, my wife's great supporting me excuse me worried me 100% and of course she's worried I'm worried the kids are worried so but everybody's on board everybody's excited to see you know what I'm going to look like afterwards how I'm going to feel hopefully it's 110% better so uh, we'll go from there and see what happens uh, the one thing that I do know I've got an appointment tomorrow with my nutritionist who's Give me a lot of tips and is helping me out. So uh, 
I'll see her tomorrow at 9.30, which was my, uh, my last nutrition class pre-op, where I learned the puree and all that good stuff. So, um, I mean, she's, she taught me about my portions and everything, told me, you know, a lot of things. Uh, what I did was went to uh, the dollar store, and um, she recommended that I get the, uh, the small baby bowls. And, you know, I don't want the ones with the Elmo's or the ones with the Barney's. We just found some plain old bowls like this. This is actually a bigger one that I'll never use. This is now the kid's cereal bowl, but there's one that's probably this size. Yeah, it's probably about three quarters of this size gone. Uh, real nice portions. Um, we also found you know, these little things here that have the lids on them. Real nice for, you know, prepping ahead of time for breakfast or for lunch, supper the night before. But these things are real nice. They were only a buck for five of them. I mean, they're little uh, cereal bowl cuppy things that you can put your snacks in. But those are going to be real nice because I can take and pure up some food and, you know, there's my breakfast, there's my lunch, there's my supper. Uh, and it's perfectly portioned. I've got a scale now that uh, we're going to be measuring everything out. Well, we have been measuring for a while. So, but also the other thing I found is um, right now I'm eating a lot of uh, the fruits, and I know it's probably not the good thing because they're the little plastic cups of the the, the mixed fruit, the peaches, and all that. But um, you know, it's nothing I'm going, I, I used to go through a can a day, or a can to the city, of peaches or pineapples. Now we decided to switch to these, so, but these are what they come in. You know, usually have them pull up to here, a little bitch in terms of the kit. The Del Monte or the Dole, these are actually the Del Monte. But what I've decided is that these would make great molds. Uh, we've been recycling through them away, so now I'm going to recycle. And, um... Uh, use them for my own personal purposes where I'll take and uh, give me the sugar-free jello and maybe you know some fresh pineapple chunks cut them up or some apples or something or bananas and we'll mix it up and put them in the little molds here and put them in the fridge these are actually great for the kids too I can make my own these things um, I got a case of them I think there was uh, 24 for like four dollars so now I'll go and I'll spend 79 cents for the Jello and uh, probably another buck for the fruit and uh, make my own little Jello portions and uh, be creative. But uh, those are some ideas. Uh, we're looking at getting the, the small uh, infant spoons for uh, my purposes because I'm used to eating with a big spoon. So in order to take and make sure that I get my portions right, I'm going to take and start using the little silver baby spoons until I get used to the portions and the little the small cups. I need to come up with something that, because I can't find it anywhere, that actually um, proportions the drink as you're drinking it. It cuts off so much. You can set it at so much and it's just, you know, if you're only going to drink a, a teaspoon at a time, it's just a teaspoon it'll let out. So, But other than that, um, those are the kind of things that I'm doing right now. So um, I will be posting some uh, a video of me standing so everybody gets a good look at the, the before of the body so um, we're going to actually take that outside and let my son do some uh, photography for me with the, the camera phone that's all I have right now the, digi the webcam won't be good because the sun will blind it so we're going to use our uh, digital phone and uh, so we can get some pictures and I'll post it for everybody to show you the before I might even look for a few photos of me when I was younger so you can see where I'm heading back to. But uh, until then, um, by all means, like I said, keep uh, viewing, keep posting. Um, I need all the support I can get. Uh, and for those ones out there that are getting ready to go through just like me, let's uh, get this done, get together, and uh, get on with a new life. So until then, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, peace. God bless.